MTV has been lying to people, folks. MTV has been lying to people, but it's a great example of what you as artists and content creators can do for yourself to go viral, build strong fans. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm about to go ahead and put it on the screen. So let me go ahead and pull up this clip. We want to do your MTV Cribs. And I was like, oh, and the first thing they asked, they said was, all right, we got a couple of houses picked out for you. Wow. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, you know what? I got a house for y'all to come to. <laughs> and yo, straight up, yo, like no, no BS, yo. They came to my crib and they walked in my door because I caught them off guard. They ain't have no, uh, they ain't have no clue on how I was living. So they walked up in my shit and they, they started looking around like, yo, you live up in here? I was like, yeah, I live up in here. My cousin was sleeping on the floor. And after I showed them the crib, they went outside and had a meeting. Oh, wow. So, so and it was like a film crew of almost this size and they dumbed it down to like two people. Uh, one camera guy and one sound guy. And that was it. They was, Cause wow. that was all that can fit in my house. And they shot it. And at the end, they edited and whatever, and then we made magic. And it was like, yo. Hey, man. First and foremost, do you remember that episode? I do remember that episode, bro. Classic, unforgettable episode of MTV Cribs. If somehow y'all missed that, you can just Google MTV Cribs or we'll put it a link or whatever. And it, it's a great episode because his house was trash. But <laughs> they've been lying to people. Like, when he said they had a house set up for me. Mm hmm I was like, wait, huh? Like that just hit me. I was like, wait, so they were going to give you a house? What do you mean they had a house for you and then you took them to your real house instead? That sounded crazy. So I looked into it and you remember JoJo, the singer, right? Yeah. She said her episode was fake, right? So she said her and her mom weren't even living in a house at the moment. Her and her mom, for whatever reason, were living in hotels at the moment. So she went to her uncle's house. And her whole episode is just her uncle's house, like her cousins, toys and all that stuff in that episode. And she, funny enough that she regretted, she should have just bought out, out and did one of the houses that they do for people. Yeah, 100%, bro. What? <laughs> and, and, and played it big. But that just let me know. I was like, hold up. So not all episodes, apparently, but many of the episodes, hey, completely fake. It's not even these people's houses. Now doing what we do today, I get it production schedules yeah. you know hey we got to get this thing shot we got to get it in there's so many reasons and it, and it feels different when it's mtv that's tricking you versus the artists like inspiring and conspiring to trick you you know what i mean yeah yeah because i always have that to lean on like it wasn't right. me guys you that, know what I'm saying? It that's was just them. what they want to do but it's weird it does have a weird thing about it but what i want to say to that though from an artist standpoint content creator standpoint this is entertainment, baby. Oh, okay. fake it till you make it. Yeah, fake. I'm like, <laughs> not even a fake it till you make it, bro. Because <laughs> that fake it till you make it gets used so poorly in action. You're like, oh, dang, bro. I ain't mean it like that. I'm talking, <laughs> like, I knew a dude that was in debt because he bought this uh, BMW and all these nice clothes. And he was telling me, like, he bought all this stuff so he could seem like he was doing big. Funny enough, he was trying to be an artist, but I was so far from I'll ever be in the music industry at that point. And like, I was probably like a freshman in college. And he was like, he had to maintain that lifestyle because his brother looked up to him and all this stuff, but he was broke, right? Faking until you make it. So I don't mean that. (laughs) (laughs) What I do mean is the ability to create something that's not real and then make it pop, though. If we go back to EM Tripling, right? At the show, creating a fake moment right or creating or reframing a moment in that first case right oh it was only 13 people out in this show but i'm so thankful for it and then that goes viral some people making fun of him having 13 people to show some people like kind of like cheering him along and encouraging him and calling him humble all that great stuff right yeah. but he because he reframed the moment then the other moment that we talked about with him is um particular since we're talking about him is he scripted the whole idea of the yo bro forgot his name had somebody in the camp in the crowd they scripted that right yeah and then obviously that went viral as well so just another example of how so much of this shit around us right in the entertainment industry in particular 
is fake. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Yeah, bro. Sometimes you just got you just got to lie until you fly, bro. You know, what I'm I stand I stand <laughs> on that, man. But I, I get it though. It, it kind of makes me think of that uh, conversation we had about artists making other artists pay for their music videos because they have a brand to maintain. Mm -hmm. So I can understand MTV. Like you said, one logistics reason just makes it faster. We know exactly where we got to go, what the mm -hmm. neighborhood look like, if it's safe. But then also, it's like, man, you know, MTV is in the game. They saw behind the scenes. They knew every artist wasn't as popping as they probably portrayed themselves to be. Yes. It's like, man, do I risk pulling up to an artist's house and getting the red man situation? When this show is supposed to be like showing the lifestyle of the grandiose, right? Like, like I kind of paint that that larger than life image, mm -hmm. especially in the two thousands, bro. The two thousands are crazy, but we assume yeah. every rapper back then was making like a hundred million dollars right. a year or some crazy shit, the right? So was, the lie was in full effect back full then. Full effect, bro. Yeah, every I I, every bit of it. Every entity making sure the lie stands still. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the JoJo one is crazy too, because I, I can see them in the same situation. Like, oh, you homeless? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to get you a grill. Not this show. Yeah, the, exactly. Now, not today you ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I, I get it from yeah. that standpoint. But I like that, uh, you know, more artists are open about that because I think there's a gripe with smaller artists. I actually seen in a, in a comment on one of our videos where someone was saying that their biggest gripe with bigger artists is that they, they lie to smaller artists and make them think, you know, the game is a certain way. Yes. Just to, for them to, you know, the lucky few to grind their way up. And see, like, oh, this shit ain't nothing. Like, you know, these artists are kind of telling me, and then the ones that never get that far just believe it. You know what I'm saying? And that becomes yeah. like the 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 floor for them. And then they just speak in a way they don't know. So, one I just always hated that part. Yeah, bro. Always, bro. It's like, context, right? It's like I feel like my shit ain't popping and working because it's me. Yeah. And yeah. you don't realize, no, it's not you. It's they have things on their side that you are unaware of completely so now you get more depressed and yeah. depressed judging yourself when really your shit ain't popping because you don't have this resource that resource or this person or the timing because yeah. sometimes these people just pop and they have no idea why yeah right but they'll make it seem like i planned this thing out right so there, yeah, there's so many ways that it is a detriment to other artists that that follow yeah bro even worse that they they didn't plan it out but my my biggest gripe with old artist interviews would be like you know how did you Make it to this point. Oh, you know, man, I was just kind of doing me. And then, like, one day it's like, oh, my God, bro, he's lying. He's <laughs> lying so hard, bro. Like you said, maybe that's really how they felt because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. You yeah. know, but most of them oh. be lying. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole nother subject. Yeah. We'll get in another day. Because a lot of there are some who truly feel like I was just doing me. And me is so awesome that the world had to witness this greatness at some point. Yeah. So there, there is some of that yeah, <laughs> as well because they truly are, like you said, just unaware. Because yeah, the amazing. label kind of kept them from that back in the day yeah, it was like bro you had a 200k budget behind you but because mm. I'm, I'm thinking about it from red man's perspective bro like that had to be a hard thing to do back then because like i said the 2000s bro like we every artist was kind of portraying themselves like super grandiose i guess his um the the benefit to him is that you know he was a i guess the equivalent of like a street rapper mm -hmm. then right so grimy, it was, yeah. yeah so it was like positive brand building for him yep you know what i'm saying like oh he's still getting it out the mud bro he still got his cousin sleeping on the floor you know what i'm saying <laughs> See what <you're> so, <laughs> <laughs> that is wow i can't I only imagine waking up and then seeing yourself on tv <laughs> like that at some point and i think just for a small you know branding moment there's layers to this Right. Because the show branded itself and had to maintain its image, like mm -hmm. you said. So, yo, bro, like, you want to get this house so we can just make sure everything looks apart. And we don't want you looking crazy, right? But because of that standard, when Matt the, you know, when Red Man came like he came, it broke yeah. that norm. 
and then made his episode a viral episode in that time. Like that's one episode that if you watch episodes, you don't forget that one because it was just yeah. so crazy to see yeah. at that time. Yeah, I remember that, bro. That's I remember that episode. And I, I don't think a lot of artists would do that today. I think a lot of artists, they would be like, yeah, nah. give, me, give me the house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to see how I'm really living right now. Give, give me yeah. the house. Yeah, I, I, I actually would agree with that. It, it's still a very <laughs> rare thing. Um, but yeah, artists, so much of this is a sham. But it's the entertainment industry, so don't think of it as fake like they're trying to trick me as an artist and young professional who's trying to come in a game. It's entertainment. That literally is what it is. Trying it's magic. Yes, yeah, trying to trick the fans. <laughs> it's the movie magic, the TV magic. I remember going to a talk show. It was Monique's talk show when she had it. Here it was at one of Turner's, Turner Studios. And the entire talk show, it was a late night show on BET, was shot in a completely different order than what it showed on TV. Because of the efficiency oh, yeah. of moving yeah. shit around. They had to move the set. We got this one room. So we're going to have Ghostface Killer perform now, even though technically we're not going to have him shown after until after the third commercial break or yeah. something like that. Right. But once we move the set, that chance is going to be gone. So we're not going to move the set back just from the perform. So it makes sense yeah. why all these things are in place in many ways, just like MTV is like, oh, it's easier. We got to schedule. So. There's reasons for it, and then also it's just a better experience. People say they want like realistic movies and things like that, but if you really saw it truly realistic, that should be boring as hell because yeah. they're gonna go through every motion, yeah. in motion. You don't want to see me actually walk all the way down the stairs from my room into this kitchen. Yeah. See me wake up, I might walk in the hallway. Next thing you know, you see I'm on those last two steps walking yeah. into the kitchen. Right? That's what you want to see. You don't want to see every single step. So this is the entertainment industry. That's a part of it. You just need to also make sure that you're not doing something that's going to be a massive threat to your particular brand, right? But aside from the branding image faking it, right? The more important part is just understanding you can create moments in general, right? If you give it the right attention, that can have that can become a bigger moment, yeah, right? right? Like yeah. period, shoot, people do these fake relationships. They make it seem like it's a relationship for a moment. All of this shit, bro, is, is, it's <laughs> entertainment, that's yeah. it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> gotta uh, gotta deceive until they believe. Hey, uh, hey, man. <laughs> Look, I, I know we 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 coming off the holidays, man. You you, you hung around the old folk over the holidays, <laughs> man. <laughs> lie to you, fly, deceive till they believe, man. You you look you look like you need a pin, pinky ring on you right now. Yeah. <laughs> now that last one was just sitting on my heart. Like it, it hit me like halfway through the convo, and I gotta I gotta hold on to this one. Like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're we, we gonna put that a, a tweet storm <laughs> of that one. All right, well, let's get it to.